Hello, I'm Hans van der Kras, Senior Lecturer at IIT Delft Institute for Water Education. Today in the QGIS Open Day, I learned in a session hosted by QGIS Brazil from Sydney Govea how to do cridging in QGIS. In previous videos, we've used two interpolation methods, the IDW, or inverse distance weighing, and the Thiessen polygon method to interpolate these temperatures from meteo stations in the Netherlands. In this video, we are going to use cridging. For this, we need to install a plugin. The plugin is a so called experimental plugin, therefore, we need to check this box. It's called the Smart Map plugin. In order to install it, we need to install SkyKit Learn in Python in the OSGO 4W shell. We open the location of the OSGO 4W shell and then we click right on it to run it as an administrator. Here we can run the setup to install Python 3 in the OSGO 4W shell. So expand the command line section and check if you have Python 3 installed, like in this case. Otherwise you need to install it by clicking on those arrows. I already did that, so I'm aborting this. Now I need to start the Python 3 environment by typing py3 underscore env, and now I can use Python. And as the manual says, I need to install SkyKit Learn which was already installed on my system. And now we can correctly install the plugin. Now we have this icon to start the plugin interface. And you can define here the output folder where the raster layers of the interpolation will be saved. And as an input layer, I use my stations and I choose the temperature field and I click import to import the table. And here we see a graphical result of that. And I can define here the output pixel size. I'll put it on one kilometer. Then I go to the interpolation tab and there I can get the semivariogram, which it calculates from the points. And I can change the settings such as the lag. And I can change the different experimental variogram models. And this is an advantage over other Krieging tools that are in uh, QGIS because you need to fit a variogram to these points. So you need to have this graphical fitting window that we have here, which is very useful. We can graphically see what happens if you change the parameters. It also gives you the RMSE and the R square of the fit. When you click interpolate, it will do the interpolation. It will take some time. And here's the interpolation result. It adds it to the layers panel and it's stored in the folder and we have this uh, figure that is presented here and if you click on it it opens the picture and then you can also save the picture let's close the window and i copy the style from the others drag it to the top and there we see our interpolation result. Keep in mind that for cridging you need a lot of points because it needs to calculate the lag distance to get the spatial autocorrelation. So it's always the question which interpolation method works best with your data set. It's not that the most sophisticated one gives the best results. 